Hello once again and we're going to have a game of Chase HQ2 Special Criminal Investigation for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Um, just reviewed the first one, that was a good version. So I'm only expecting, well, I thought I was going to be expecting good but, oh my god. Look at the state of this. Um, you know, you could all overlook the the colour palette and uh, the monochromic graphics. That's what not my issue. That's not the issue with this game. It's the colours they've used, the graphics, and the sound effects. Everything about this game is utter shit. The frame rate is absolutely it's fast, but so fucking jumpy jerky. The first game was much better. Um. Ugh. Bloody horrible. Oh my god. We couldn't get any worse. Now we've got day glow green mixed with sky blue and they in the colour clash in the background. All I can assume um, these were done by two different programmers. Um, once again the Amst the Amstrad version weren't even released of this game, so that must have been so bad that they couldn't release it. Um what an utter... What it, oh. I mean, the only good thing about it is that it's pretty quick. But it's so jumpy jerky. It ruins it. Um, I mean, the Commodore 64 version of this was fantastic. So, um, obviously, whoever programmed the Commodore 64 version of the first one learnt their lesson and made the second game so damn good. It was brilliant. Everything about it was brilliant. Yeah. Do I really want to continue? Yeah, fuck it, let's continue. But it seems like they've gone the opposite way when they came out with the second one. Um, they had a good version, then they made the second one absolutely shit. Um, and what cap it off? I'm using keys. I'm using keys. In order to fire my gun, I've got to take my hand off the steering, which is O and P, and use the cursor, which is the top arrow button. Obviously, the, the key combination must have been different with the Spectrum itself. Because I've never used... This is the 1-8K version. I don't even know if it's the 1-8K version. I've got it on the 1-8K um, setting on the emulator, but... Does it really sound 1 to 8k? Does it even remotely look like a 1 to 8k game? Or sounds? But it's awful. Fucking awful to play. Fucking hell. Right, one credit remaining. Come on, let's, let's get it over with, I think. And fucking hell, about time it fucking responds. Very unresponsive sometimes, this game. Ooh, just oh god. Um, so it's taken me. The, this is the third continue I'm using just to fucking get off the first level. To smash this car, and I'm not achieving it. Probably because I'm shit at the game. First time I've ever played it on the Spectrum. Um, but what is the sound effects all about? What the? Listen to it. Just going. I'm taking that's supposed to be the car, the engine noise. That looks like it's cut lifted from the original Spectrum. Um, so, is it a one to eight K game? I doubt. Don't think so. Um, looks like something you program with a fucking about sixteen K or something like that. It's that bad. Fuck it now. Oh, look, can I do this? Oh, what's happened? Now I ran out of fucking time. Oh, yeah, that looks very stunning, doesn't it? Jennifer. Oh, well, she's dead. Oh, well, at least I ain't gonna fucking play that again. If you want to play a home computer version of this, play the Commodore 64 version. That was clearly the best version. The Amstrad never even got released. And this version was total shit. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.